Alright folks, today I'm gonna show you how to grill this awesome looking red wine burger. So stay tuned. It's time to grill. Today we are using black Angus burger patties. These are two black Angus burger patties from my favorite online butchery gumiflash.de. I will put a link into the video description so you can check it out if you like. So these are frozen. We only need one for today's recipe. I just let it outside the fridge until it's not frozen anymore. So this is the patty. This is how it looks like. That's the size. And now we're gonna put this into a vacuum bag. So you might have seen the videos before. We did a lot of sous vide cooking and experimenting with different spirits and steaks. So this is kind of the conclusion today. This is a bottle of red wine. That's one of my favorite red wine from South Africa. I only use the spirits and the wine for cooking, which I would also drink. So that's 200 milliliter or so inside the vacuum bag. And now we just close the vacuum bag Make sure to close it twice. I already have two here on the bottom side. So we just close it two times again on the other side of the sous vide bag. So it's not a sous vide anymore because it's not vacuum, but that doesn't matter. This is how the patty looks like inside the bag with the red wine. And now we're gonna put this into our sous vide cooker. So sous vide cooker, um, more or less, I have a pot I usually use for cooking asparagus. That's pretty high. For me, that's the perfect size for the sous vide stick. So I'm using a Kaiso sous vide stick. I'll put a link into the video description. You can check it out as well. And then we add the water and then we heat it up. Today we are headed for a goal of 58 degrees Celsius for internal temperature. If you don't want to have this burger medium, you can do it 60 or 62 degrees Celsius. It's up to you. I would like to have it a little bit pink in the inside. So for me, there's no need to kill beef twice. There's a big discussion on my uh, social media channels, especially Instagram, where people are a lot of complaining about how uh, rare I like my beef. I don't care about that because I eat raw beef as tartar anyway. So I've speed this up a little bit for you. This is 58 degrees. Three hours are shown here. We only need to cook it for two hours. That's far enough for that small burger patty. And once we're ready in there, we can start preparing the rest of our burger ingredients. This is one spoon of yellow mustard. This is some jack and smoke seasoning. Smoke salt meets whiskey pepper. And then we need a dash of red wine here. And all we have to do is mix this now. So we now have a, a gently decent red wine flavor inside our mustard sauce. Please make sure to wait until the end where I tell you if I like that on my burger or not. You might be surprised. Who knows? Anyway, so the people who watched the intro closely realized that there will be onions on the burger as well. So we need three medium sized yellow onions. I speed this up as well. And then we take our cast iron pan and it's completely cold now. And we just fill in the onions there and let that heat up. So. In short working steps, after your onions look like that, add a dash of balsamic vinegar, then add the red wine, approximately 150 milliliters or so. It depends a little bit on the size of the pan and of the size of the onions, of course. And then brown sugar. I decided to take some smoked sugar today, but you can use some brown sugar packed brown sugar if you have whatever just to have a little bit of a sweetness in there and it should caramelize let that simmer for approximately 15 till 20 minutes until the liquid is complete gone and then your burger topping is almost ready 
if you order beef patties at gourmetfleisch.de you will also receive these buns and now this is the star and the next highlight of that burger we need a strong cheese so this is a strong cheese you can this is a swiss cheese and it's completely ripe and it's so wow i wish you could smell that for me the combination of cheese and red wine is a great one so that's the way to go here today this is the burger patty after two hours just salt from both sides of course in the meantime we have preheated our gas grill for high direct heat and we sear this patty approximately two and a half minutes per side it's important not to cook it too long otherwise it would not have made any sense to cook it sous vide till 58 degrees celsius so i speed this up as always after two and a half minutes tada it looks like that and then we can add the cheese just make sure that the cheese does not stay on there too long as well because it already is ripe and as you can see here it starts melting very very fast so if you want to keep some of that cheese on your topping close the lid for one minute not longer that's the result looks good enough to eat so we're gonna take it inside and then we are ready to build the burger from bottom to top in the beginning I thought it would be a great idea to baste this bun in red wine as well and bake it for five minutes or so I decided not to do that so two tablespoons of that mustard red wine sauce two leaves of lettuce the red wine patty with the cheese and then the onions so that's our full red wine flavor burger I hope you like it I'm going to show you some some close-up uh, footage right now and we will cut this one in the center and after cutting it I will leave you with the original footage of trying with the results and see how it tastes it would be really cool if you're giving this one a shot this is how it looks like after we cut it really really juicy burger Alright folks, now we are giving this red wine burger a shot. It's really interesting. Um, this technique, I, I developed this technique during the last um, steak videos. So this is kind of um, the conclusion of all of the videos I did in the past. So if this works and tastes well, this is kind of a great um, creative opening for more ideas. Of course you can do this with port, you can do this with my favorite Jägermeister. And just add the ingredients and toppings on your burger which fit to the spirit you are using so I'm gonna give this a shot right now looks really really good so please make sure to hit that like button comment if you um, have something to comment so I'm gonna give this a shot hit that like button please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to visit my fan pages Instagram Facebook and patreon are doing a great job right now with a lot of exclusive comment and uh, action going on so make sure to visit these as well I'm gonna try and I'll let you know how it is. Mm. Mm. I really like the combination of red wine and that strong cheese. That's a great one. Mm. For the mustard, there's a little bit missing. I guess some more salt could work here. 
and the sweetness of the onion is almost perfect. I really like the combination. Thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.